Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Everybody seems to have their favorite choice for a backup service or some kind of software, uh, but you don't have to back up everything, especially if you don't know what to back up, because there's all these files, no matter which operating system you happen to be using, that may be all over the place. So we thought, well, why not help people uh, realize they don't have to back up everything? So we've done an article on LockerDome.com, linked in the description, what to include in the backup and how to do it. Very helpful tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and plus one tweet and like that on Facebook. Hopefully you will as well if you like it. So my question to you, and I'll turn back to the, the chat room from nomies.com, uh, which files do you believe are crucial in a backup? And yes, I think there's the obvious, uh, photos, videos, uh, documents, but what files are so obscure that people might miss them and then realize they're missing them. You don't have to include setup files because if you reinstall an operating system, you could always set up a program or an application again, depending, of course, on how your operating system works uh, specifically with uh, software. So, uh, you know, it's something that, whoa, Ron Knights, you have a million files? Holy cow! Financials, Stacy Ferris, there's something important to note. Exactly, financials, taxes, anything that's related to your money, uh, bookmarks, local email. See, here's the thing with email, though. I keep most of it on the server. Um, I use an exchange server, and so I don't have to worry about backing up email. Uh, Florida, you should always back up. Fl fl you don't back up Florida, it's a state. If you have suggestions on what to back up, if we missed the list, please let people know because uh, you know we want to help people along when it comes to the backup. Things you can back up and things you may not need to back up. We're open to suggestions.